हेलो फोक्स वेलकम टू मोटरबीन Hyundai had launched the first generation 200 in India way back in 2005 but the car failed to create much of a stir in the market Hyundai has now been selling the Creta and the Santa Fe SUVs but to fill the void between them they have now launched the third generation 200 On the outside, the Tucson definitely looks and feels much bigger than the Creta, and it has good road presence. Hyundai has implemented the fluidic styling philosophy on the Tucson. The design is well proportioned, and the car manages to look quite easy. Moving to the inside, you are greeted by a typical Hyundai interior, which has a neat layout with all the ergonomics nicely sorted. The quality of materials used everywhere is great. The leather seats are large and comfy and come with good cushioning. At the rear, space is again pretty decent with good levels of headroom and shoulder space. The room is nice too. The boot of the two saw is extremely large. You get a dual zone climate control system which works really well. The equipment list is pretty long and there's a plethora of features. Segment unique features include electric parking brake auto folding mirrors with heating function compass on the IRVM downhill brake control front and rear parking assist system and an 8 inch AVN system with voice recognition Apple CarPlay and Android Auto there are quite a few cubby holes and storage spaces on the inside you get bottle holders on each door apart from that there are two cup holders in the center console along with a couple of other storage spaces at the rear you get two cup holders in the center armrest The Hyundai Tucson is offered with both petrol and diesel engines. Both the engines are 2 liter units offered with 6 speed manual and automatic transmissions. We drove the diesel engine first. There's a good amount of performance and the torque wave is very strong once you get past the little turbo lag. The engine has good punch all the way to 5000 rpm and the gearbox also does a really nice job and the shifts feel very seamless. On the fuel efficiency front You can expect approximately 12 to 13 kilometers per liter from this engine. There's a sport mode on offer, which increases the fun factor by a small amount. You also get an eco mode and a normal city driving mode. Talking about the petrol engine, it is the same 2 liter unit that also powers the Elantra. Performance is just about satisfactory, and it isn't meant to be driven enthusiastically. Normal customers won't complain. but our pick would still be the diesel engine due to its performance and efficiency the suspension of the two saw is soft and the ride feels plush the suspension does a really good job of gobbling up potholes and broken patches of tarmac even at high speeds the car feels very stable most of the times the steering is light enough making the two saw very easy to drive at high speeds however we wish the steering offered more feedback and feel Ground clearance isn't that high but fairly manageable. The tires have decent levels of grip while the brakes are very sharp and have excellent stopping power. There are no other SUVs in the two source price range and it will compete with the Mahindra XUV 500. It makes for a good buy if you're looking for a two-wheel drive SUV and don't require seven seats. For those who are willing to wait, Hyundai is going to launch the all-wheel drive version next year. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to the Motor Beam channel. Also, you may please click on the bell below to get instant notifications whenever we upload new videos.